Greetings, ladies and germs of planet Earth and beyond. King Zero Phoenix has returned, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure DX with the 102 Gamma Story. I tried recording this a couple weeks ago, but due to some unforeseen circumstances with my equipment, I had to start from scratch. So, but now we're continuing exactly where we left off. We've just received our laser blaster. Which we could have gotten once we got to this stage eventually, but I prefer to have it ahead of time, because this could have proved quite useful. I believe last time we left off, Gamma has now rejected Eggman as his master, and now his goal is to free his friends, the rest of the E-Series robots. Of course, unfortunately, the only way to do that is to free the animals inside, which means he has to destroy them. Back to the Mystic Ruins. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Our first stop, the Windy Valley. For that, we need the Windstone, which should be exactly where we last saw it. Tails' workshop. So convenient. Come on. Pick up. How does that thing even function in a way it's not even directly attached to his body? Oh, you. Welcome to the Windy Valley. Like E103 Delta. To this day, I still don't, I don't get how exactly Eggman is able to power his machines. He's using animals that... That's like their, their life energy used as a fuel source or something? I don't know. But again, I suppose it does take someone with an IQ of over 300 to successfully use animals as a power source. I don't know heard this song before, but I can't remember! Where? Oh. There they are. E-103 Delta. Was easy. If you're not Delta with this, you are free. E-103 Delta, rescue complete. One down, four more to go. We head up next, we head up to Red Mountain for E-104 Epsilon. Yeehaw! We have no going to the ice caps for this robot. But no, that cold just completely shut down the circuitry though. I know technically as machines their body parts heat up the more they're used, so colder would actually be good for them. But then again, too much cold there can be detrimental to a computer systems. All the mechanics start slowing down. At least that's how I think it goes. I don't know.
the inside of the mountain. You know, on the developer, original Sonic creators that came up with the idea for Chow, I wonder how it's getting the idea that it, having them interact with an the animals with different Eggman's machines would make them stronger or something. I mean, this kind of thing you can't just make up overnight. is E-104. So I wonder why they were all given rocket launchers while I was given a laser. You know what, don't be picky. E-104 Epsilon. Just like Delta and Beta, didn't take me more than a minute. E-104 Epsilon. Rescue complete. Three left. E-103 Delta. E-104 Epsilon. Rescue mission accomplished. E-105 Zeta. E-101 Beta. Location unknown. Perhaps aboard the egg carrier. Logical. Mode change. When I think of machines, I can't help but think of the ever-famous Star Trek character, Mr. Spock. Uh, the Vulcan race is guided completely by logic. Honestly, I think humans could learn, learn something from that. I mean, logic can't decide to solve since we are more governed by emotions than anything else. But still, logic does have its merits. E-Series Data. Beginning search. Accessing data. Hot shelter. E series location confirmed. Unlocking hot shelter sector now. All right, let's go. Okay. I swear this would be a perfect place to live. Surrounded by nothing but beautiful ocean with this kind of ship. And it's perfect beachfront property. But still, I'm curious at what exactly is powering this, this behemoth. He wasn't using the Chaos Emerald, so he must have found a perfect power source to supply it with. The Hot Shelter. Why is it called Hot Shelter, I wonder? Okay, seriously, so what exactly happened to Zeta to have him become merged with the bit this section of the base? Oops. 
slow and steady wins the race. Go. Don't look directly into that laser people cause you to go blind. Monkeys with bombs. Yeah, that's who came up with that idea. Nope. Don't I just remember from those things? They actually brought them back in a different version. <laughs> Sonic Heroes, the, the same kind of jellyfish looking mo- Let's have captured- uh, Excuse me, somebody. They got careless. without his head. It's like the friend, one of those claw machines. You know, I haven't tried one of those things since I was a child. Ah, that's what. I got the magnetic barrier for a clean shield. Extremely dangerous, mind you. I can't even imagine how fast this thing is supposed to be going. Thank God I'm off that psychotic death trap. Beating this stupid monkey. There we go, now that's the barrier I'm supposed to have. And now I'm back to the useless one. Never mind. Whoa! Ha! Blew themselves up. Stupid monkeys. I know I'm on the clock here, but hey, brains are gonna help keep me alive, so. Less than two minutes, huh? E105 Zeta. easier than I thought it would be. Peacock. E-105 Zeta. Rescue complete. Now there's only two E-Series robots left. Beta. 
had to gamma. E-105 Zeta rescue complete. Units remaining. Beta and himself. Gamma. Look at that, someone finally got his upgrades. Beta. This is it, people. The final battle. Gamma's final battle, anyways. E-101 Mark II. This guy's not gonna be as easy as the others. Whoa! Still, when he does that tragic attack, he leaves himself wide open. Yeah. I beat you back at, at, the, at the base. Yes. That was that's ancient history, man. Let it go. Shit. Sure. Obviously, we did the damage, but he isn't mission complete. Self destructing. There it is, the gray bird. And I'm sure you've already guessed by now that red bird is the sibling. These two birds are the sibling of that bird that tagged along with Amy. This gray bird's just waiting for the red one to pop out of Gamma. Look, you can actually barely see the smoke coming off its body. Not gonna lie, this scene always made me a little sad. Personally, I liked Gamma, and I was ashamed to see him go. But with that, the bird siblings were reunited, so I suppose all's well that ends well. It really sucks though, whether it's a game or an anime or cartoon, you bond with a certain character only for them to die off not long after they're introduced. But they'll always remain with us, in both spirit and in our minds, I suppose. But to me, that's just my opinion. And look at me, I'm making a fuss over characters that don't even exist. Like, believe me, I'd love to skip over these credits, but 
I don't see I just rather not skip over them because personally I enjoy the music. <laughs> so I have nothing more to say. Just sit back, relax, enjoy the music until the credits are over. Birdies. And with that, Gamma story has come to an end. <sighs> with that, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to stop right here. Don't want to do too much at once, but the things are looking good, guys. We've only got one story left to finish, and then we can move on to the very end of the game. 
So, thank you everybody so much for joining me on this adventure. Hit the like button to let me know you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more, and share your opinions with me down in the comments below. And until next time, this is King Zero Phoenix signing off. Laters!